basketball game. I think uh, coming to New York, we have not played well in a cold day game, the second game of the year. Uh, we struggled. We came down here, and I thought we played as well as we can play for two days. I thought, the, uh, obviously, there's always some mistakes. I um, thought we were better rebounding tonight than last night. I thought we did a better job on the three-point line, but uh, we gave up too much in the middle. And, uh, you know, part of that is Jesse being in foul trouble. He can't start the game out with two fouls. You know, I think the second half, I think he had 18 points and eight rebounds or something like that. Um, you know, we need him in the game. We never did a good job the first half, but we, we don't need him in there that long. So I think Jesse's got to be better there. You know, they did a great job on Joe. They made him take really tough shots. And some of the easy ones he got, he didn't make, but that happens. Uh, I think they're a really good team. Uh, they're really physical. I think the second day, uh, Judah's in tremendous shape. He got tired a little bit at the end of overtime. That's to be expected. But uh, again, I thought we uh, played really well here in New York. And I think that this will help our team, these games. Uh, you always want to win, but. Uh, Really proud of the way they played. Uh, you know, down late, four points. Got a couple stops, got a couple buckets, tied it up, and had a little bit of a chance at the end. Jesse, you know, we weren't really planning on going to him, but he got it and brought it. And uh, he wanted the ball, and he should have just kept going. I don't know why he stopped there, <laughs> but uh, he was. Really good in the second half against a real good defender. Um, I thought we looked for him. I think we can, Joe did a good job. I think we missed him a couple times that we're going to have to get on the ball there. But uh, I thought, uh, again, they're really good. Uh, all the Richmond's a really good team. Uh, we played two really good teams here. And I think uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get better. From, we, we have gotten better already from this. So it's a good experience. Coach, uh, second straight overtime game in 24 hours. Do you think that wore on your players at all? Well, we were a little tired, but we finished the regulation. We were down four in the other regulation and got the two buckets and got two stops and got a stop at the end. So they just played better in the overtime. You know, Jim, along the same lines that you were talking about earlier, Jesse and Joe really did not influence the game that much in the first half, but you got a lot from your young players. Yeah, I'm happy the way these guys. Judah was great in the first half. Obviously, he wore down a little bit. Uh, you know, Chris, you know, can make shots. His, you know, it's, it's really hard to say. You know, freshman gets 12 points, but he almost shouldn't play. He had zero rebounds. It's two nights in a row. You know, you can't play college basketball, especially a forward, and not get rebound. any rebounds. You know, you just you can't do that. Those drop passes down inside were on his side a lot. And Benny's a little bit too. Um, but, you know, Chris, is, he's, he's got to be able to do something on the boards. We don't have a different, really different option. We want to use a smaller team to handle the ball, take some of the pressure off the Judas ball handling. Um, but, you know, we, 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 we need, when he, when he came out, they switched to the zone and, you know, they're just playing Joe basically. So we have to, Chris came back, hit a shot right away. And, you know, that's what he does. but. He's got to get better. He's got to rebound better. His defense is getting a little better, but he's got to rebound better for us to be successful. And we don't need 10. We need four or five, something like that. Jesse and Winnie were really good on the boards. They each got eight. You know, that's pretty good.
You said yesterday that you expected aggressive defense against Joe and that the rest of the team would have to take advantage of those driving lanes. Did they do that? Yeah, Joe, Judah did in the first half. And I think he, they, they did a better job on him in the second half. They, they were better on him. I think he probably got a little tired too. Uh, and when they went to the matchup, that takes away the drive. And that's when we got the ball to Jesse. And did a, they did a really good job getting him the ball. There was a couple times we could have got him again, but he, he got the ball. And, uh, you know, that takes that out of the game, the drive, the, the zone. So, again, I thought uh, we reacted well to that. But, uh, again, we played well. We did a lot of good things, more good things than not. But uh, our interior defense was not good enough at the end of the day. Joe, after seeing a game like this from Munir Hima, what's his ceiling with this team? Well, I, you know, he's a good defensive player. I, he, he has a problem. He waits outside the lane when they throw the ball, and now he, he's too far away to finish. He just can't understand he's got to drive. And, you know, he should be, those should, he should have hit six shots. He should have had six dunks. He's just still outside the lane. He's got to get into the lane better. He just got to learn. He didn't play high school. He didn't play at first year of college. He didn't play much last year. He had a big effect on the game. He was very good in the first half, very good. And uh, that's a lot for a young player to have to do that. And uh, again, he, he was very good. Joe was just not Joe tonight. He just didn't have it, and uh, he's got to be better. Coach, what were some of the difficulties uh, down low? Um, going up against Soriano, kind of being outsized, mass-wise, not necessarily. Well, it was time. mainly the penetration from the guards. They got the guard in the middle, and we just didn't do a good job with the forwards getting back. The bounce pass was there. You got to force Carbello to shoot, and he did. He made, he made some shots too. But and you know, he made his threes. You know, he had an exceptional game. He's uh, I don't know what he's shooting from the three, but not that very good. And you know, he made all three. I think all three of them tonight. Jim, these past two nights, uh, is there anything in particular that's leading to Jesse's early foul trouble, and how can he avoid it? He knows. He knows. Poor coaching, probably. Jim, you mentioned Benny last night having struggled to rebound. Tonight he gets into double digits <coughs> on the boards, the only guy on your team to play the entire game. How much trust are you putting in him? He's got to be a factor, a force for us this year if we're going to have success. And tonight, you know, he rebounded better. He shot the ball, but he's not doing the other things that we need him to do to be a more physical presence for us. Um, he's playing, he wants to play like a three man, we need a four man. So. Hey, coach. Um, in the final play of regulation, Simon Torrance takes that ball away jumper. Um, what did you draw up in the timeout? In Nine the seconds to go, we drew up that we would get the ball to Jesse and back to Joe, and we didn't. It never, that didn't happen. Jesse brought it up, which we didn't want. We didn't draw that up either. Um, but they took, kind of took it away, and Joe didn't get to it. And uh, we would have rather had Joe had it there. Uh, Jesse made it. He just should have kept going. <laughs> He just got down the post and stopped. He, he, he just scored on that same type move a couple times. So we, we would have been happy to, to see him go. Nine seconds, you can't do a lot. We really wanted to go to Benny on the inbounds pass, and Joe didn't get it to him. He got it to him. He, he either didn't see him or he, he was open. But that's what we wanted to do. But. Joe, Joe didn't find him. Jim, with this, with this group, it's a relatively young group. How do you think they're grasping your, the, the, the concept of the 2-3 zone? Well, they know the concept. The zone takes a minute, two weeks to learn. It's not complicated. Man-to-man -man defense is much harder. Many more different twists and turns. Uh, they understand it. Um, we still are not really good at it, but we're getting a little better. Uh, we're not rebounding out of it like we need to because one of our forwards is not rebounding. So we, 
you play any defense, especially a zone, you, your forwards get most really get a lot of the rebounds. Even though our centers did well, you got them, you got a good share tonight. Your forwards have to get some seven, eight, whatever rebounds, and uh, we're not rebounding very well in the zone. I think we'll get better, um, but we're we're playing the zone better. It's getting better, um, but. It, 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 again, it's, uh, it, it takes a little while. Okay, thanks. Our locker room is open.